This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. Uh, RC in the 305 says Greer sucked as a scout, unlike Alonzo Highsmith. Um, I, I, how did he suck? You know exactly what picks he missed on? When you have that information, RC in the 305, tell me. But RC in the 305, ask yourself this, okay? Ask yourself this because as much as I like you because you, you follow me on Twitter, we go back and forth on Twitter, you're always here. I, I'm just going to tell you, as much as I like you, you know, I'm brutally honest. This is an incredibly dumb take on your part. And I, I, let me explain, okay? Let me explain. I just want you to use common sense now. Think about this, okay? All right? I don't want you to smoke the sense. I want you to use common sense. All right? Follow me here. Really good here, okay? This is one that you got to make a segment for sure. Let me explain something to you about Chris Greer. He's been around for 15 years. How many different coaches and GMs during that time? Again, think about this. If you suck at suggesting players, the next guy that comes in, that scout is missed on, okay, fire him, keep him, keep him, let him go, let him go. So think about this. Chris Greer must have been giving somebody good advice because Every head coach since Jimmy Johnson kept him around. Every general manager kept him around. And everybody knows exactly where your reports are. They're all filed. They're all recorded. They're all saved. Okay? RC in the 305, you must remember something. Chris Greer is black. Okay? He's black. I just want, I don't know, you may not have known this, RC in the 305. Black. Okay? Black people don't get the same breaks. Okay? So he's sitting there for 15 years in the Dolphin front office, obviously giving good advice. Because if you give bad advice, they fire your ass. That's what happens. So think about it, okay? There's a reason why Wade Phillips gets hired as a defensive coordinator for 78 teams, and there's only been 32 in the history of the NFL. Yet somehow or another, he's coached on 78 different defensive teams. Why? Because he's really good. Now, he might be part of coaching staffs that get fired all the time. But, man, if you want a defensive coordinator, you're going to hire Wade Phillips. The guy's working. He's like 107 now, and he's still working. There's a reason. It's when you see coaches move around and they get multiple jobs, it's because they know what they're doing. It's because people know what their history is. But the problem is, again, he's black. He's black. Okay? Okay. The white guy only has to do this much, okay, to get the break. The white guy in the TV booth only has to do this much to get a break. The black guy has got to do something like this now. He's got to accomplish 10 times more than the white guy in order to get the damn break. Oh, and by the way, once you get the break... They can't wait to fire your ass. Because you're not going to get the breaks like Matt Millen. You're not sticking around like Matt Millen. Just saying. I mean, come on, dude. Let's go. Let's use common sense here. Where they kept Chris Greer around for a freaking reason. He must have been giving good advice. Finally, somebody had the balls to say, you know, instead of giving advice, why isn't he the guy at the top? Okay, Reggie McKenzie's the guy 
that finds Derek Carr and finds Khalil Mack and gets the Raiders out of the rut. And how do they reward the black guy? By firing him. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's be smart. Let's use common sense. Let's see through the trees, okay? Let's see what life is really all about. And it's really cruel. And it's even it's even worse if you're black. Just the way it is, man. Okay? So Chris Greer hung around for a reason. And since he took over, no, man, I love what he's done in the last year.